Hey everybody. So this is going to be the little egg set up here. If you have its own speaker, it also has a cover for this. It's drying right now. Um, plus accessories. It fits all inside the box here. So there's no speaker inside this box, but it will come with a frequency generator too. Um, same thing with the large life viewer, same setup. Um, it's got the USB ports, the one amp breaker. Uh, this is where you hook up the speaker right here. And then there's a plug in the back of the egg to hook the speaker up. Uh, you also have the outlet port back here still for the bubble life viewer or any other speakers you want to hook up to it. Um, it'll come with the tripod and this two light setup. This is uh, a white light. It's dimmable by holding the button down and this is a colored LED. Both will have removable lenses. I already took the lens off of this one. I still got to figure out a way to put these on. Right now I'm using magnets. It seems to work pretty good. So it works pretty good. I just got to do a little bit more stabilizing on the bottom there. By camera here. And this is uh, 32 hertz. So you can see it, it works pretty good. Especially if you dim the light down pretty good. You'll get some good imagery. That's uh, 20, 34 hertz. And this is meant for pans up to about 4 inches. And it'll come with uh, at least like 8 pans. Um, see my light's a little bit off here. You see the darker edges on one side and not the other. Something is not like 100% lined up. Right around there is pretty good. It's 36 hertz. And you could uh, see what happens when the light turns up by holding in the button. And you can get a little bit more line details also turn down the phone light yourself like that if you turn this down and you change the light setting to the white light like that this is where you can make the light language and it just requires just a tiny amplification it's right before the geometry forms like right there and then the geometry forms right after. So you want to get the light language, it's kind of like a fine balance. Sometimes you just got to wait for it too. Tiny amplification. You can also move the points to the frequency. This is 36 or but all frequencies will make this. It's 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. It starts to get a little too amplified. Right there's the light language. And it just goes right into the imagery. all at the same time. Not good. So if you were to take pictures of that, I don't know if I, I can take pictures. And there goes the drum. I didn't uh, turn up the volume, it just was settling. 
You can see that it, once it starts to settle, it will start to form. Take some pictures. I'm about a foot and maybe about 14 inches away from the pan. Forty-three hertz, a little more stable. This is really where my, you can see now the black around in the center is kind of more lined. This is where you kind of adjust your phone on top of the tripod to get pretty good images. I usually like to take photo burst. So if you amplify it, it does that. It's 55 hertz. See the lights off a little. phone's moving around so much guys. Tiny bit of amplification. very delicate. Doesn't require hardly any amplification. Mainly because I put a little bit, maybe too much water in here. So the water acts like an amplifier the more you have in there. If you lessen it up, you'll get a little bit more stabilization. It's more of the light language. You can see it form right before the geometry itself. Fifty seven hertz. If I go to sixty, it'll freeze frame it. such a little tiny bit of amplification that did that. Just turned it down. I have to turn this light down now. See how that it's kind of stopped getting all messy as I turn down the light, kind of matching the frequencies. I turn it down more. Well, it goes back up now. And that's fully bright. And that's as low as it gets. That's the yellow light. And that's the white light it comes with. So there's three different settings on there. It's pretty nice. Oh, 
looks pretty good. If I turn this down, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to get this light on. Turn this light down. Right around there. Pretty cool. Take a couple pictures. So that was 60 hertz. There's 61, so it's going to start moving around because of the frames per second. goes a little faster. That's when you go too loud, it, it does stuff like this. You want to turn it down. So delicate. You just let it sit there. So yeah, that's 65 hertz. So this is only a two inch, uh, well, this is the 50 millimeter pen. As these frequencies get into the 60s and 70s, I'd probably switch this down to a smaller pen. And you'll get more geometry out of it. Alright, so that's pretty much this setup. It's kind of cool. And the egg thing, just the lid fits right back on there. So, yeah. Comes to that frequency generator box. It all fits inside the box, except for the tripod and the light. All right, everybody, thanks.